In the lecture, you already learned about context. In any given language, a word, an expression, or a sentence can have different meanings. This is called ambiguity. The example from the slide set in the lecture is the example of the jaguar. This is a case of lexical ambiguity in which one word of a specific syntactic category can have several meanings. As mentioned in the lecture, the content that is communicated through the language can be interpreted in different ways depending on the context in which the word is appearing. Now let's see how we can resolve lexical ambiguity and find out the meaning that is meant in one particular context. The traditional approach to resolve lexical ambiguity is to first build a taxonomy such as WordNet. WordNet is a huge dictionary that is semantically oriented and that provides a denotational definition for each word and represents interrelations between words in a hierarchical structure. This hierarchical structure is based on the definitions of the words and the words in WordNet are categorized into synonym sets. A set of synonym, a set of one or more synonyms in WordNet is called a syn set. And these syn sets are organized into hierarchies according to the conceptual meanings. In the example here, you can find out the word net for star and the different syn sets for this word in your own time. WordNet is integrated into the Python library NLTK and it can be accessed through this library. So in order to access WordNet, we first need to import NLTK and download WordNet. Next, we import WordNet from NLTK and it's ready to be used. Okay, when we have the WordNet, we can start looking up syn sets for a specific word. Let's take the example of star here you can see there are 12 different syn sets for the word star. In each of these syn sets, you can see the synonym of the word, the lexical category of the word, which is in this case, in the first example, a noun, and an identifier for each of these syn sets. So for example, when we go down to this other syn set, we can see the lexical category is a verb. Now we can look up the definition of a specific syn set given its identifier. For example, the syn set for star as a noun and identifier number three. The definition for this one is any celestial body visible as a point of light from the earth at night. You can also look up all definitions of a specific word by looping through its syn sets. Here, for example, we will look up all definitions for the word star and you will see that you get lexical information, definitions and also synonyms for each of these syn sets. If you look at syn set number three, for example, the definition is any celestial body visible as a point of light from the earth at night and the synonym for this syn set is star. Here we only have one synonym. But in the fourth syn set, we can see that star is meant as a person here and the definition is an actor who plays a principal role. The synonyms for this definition of star are star, principal or lead. You can have a look at other words and their syn sets and the definitions in the syn sets in the word net by yourself. You can also look up hypernyms for a given syn set. These are words that are more general than the specific word that we are looking at. Let's have a look at all the hypernames we can find for the word star in WordNet. We have celestial body, we have natural object, which is itself a whole, and then we have object, which is a physical entity, which is an entity. Here you can see the hierarchical structure of WordNet and how from the entity you can get down to the word star. One interesting task that can be achieved using WordNet and that is important when it comes to linguistic ambiguities is word sense disambiguation. Word sense disambiguation is the task 
of finding out the most context, context appropriate meaning for a word given the word and its context. Let's take the example sentence below. The astronomer loves the star who plays the read lead role. As a human being, we know that the word star here means the actor or the actress. But in order to find this out automatically, we need the help of an algorithm. And the idea for this algorithm is to look for the maximum overlap of the sentence or the context in which the sentence is appearing and the synset definition. For example, one of the synset definitions for the word star that we have seen above is an actor who plays a principal role. In this definition, the two words plays and role are overlapping with the words that we have in our example sentence, or in other words, in the context. This algorithm is called Lesk algorithm and it has been introduced by Michael Lesk in 1986. This is a simple baseline algorithm, but it can work for simple word sense disambiguation tasks. Now let's look at the execution of this algorithm using the NLTK corpus and WordNet. So you can see that for the sentence, the astronomer loves the star who plays the lead role in this function. We are trying to find one of the definitions of the um, for the synsets of star that has the maximum overlap with our sentence. And when we look at this, the resulting um, synset, we have synset star, which is defined as an actor who plays a principal role. Now to look at, at another example, for the second sentence, this astronomer loves the star that twinkles in the sky so bright, we can also find out the best match definition or the best matching synset for the word star. And you can see that the synset that is chosen here is the definition of star as a celestial body of hot gases that radiates energy. So the star in the sky. You can find more information on how to use WordNet with NLTK in the links below and um, play around with this notebook as you wish and change the word star to any other word that is ambiguous and see how this ambiguation works. Thank you very much.